All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because today we're going to be talking about a stock which I just invested a little bit more money into. We're going to be talking about Clip, the Crane Shares China Internet and Cover Call Strategy ETF. If you guys have stuck around on my channel, you guys would know I'm no stranger to Clip. Clip in my real life portfolio, as I call it up here is my biggest position and in today's video i want to talk about exactly how much clip i acquired because i now have 211 shares i have over three and a half thousand us dollars invested into clip basically the reason being because it's a little bit more diversified than your average let's say yield max etf where it follows one stock for example clip is in a category of its own it is a cover call strategy etf but it is not something similar to yield max it follows a different strategy a cover call strategy and it is based out of china so it gives some kind of global exposure basically what clip is as an overview it's the chinese internet sector it basically tracks the largest chinese internet companies through kweb which is the underlying stock it writes cover calls on kweb which is the chinese internet sector and kweb holds 10 of the largest chinese internet companies if i can slowly find those for you yes down here we have tencent alibaba metuan pdd and the list goes on so what i want to talk about today is exactly how much i bought because i have all my results up here i want to tell you exactly why i decided to buy now and not hold off and uh, a little bit of news on clip kweb and uh, the chinese internet sector for the future everything about that so that's what we're talking about today we're up to 5423 subscribers gained a couple subscribers yesterday so thank you to everyone who realized we're now posting a little bit more frequently as i switched up my job it's going to give us more availability and i'm just super excited to create this video for you guys so with this new buy-in clip it jumped my monthly income from about 200 dollars to about 230 dollars per month with this buy what did i buy clip you can see here i bought about 60 shares at an average share price of $12.38 which is a total of about $750 american so when we do that kind of calculation here just to put it all together we have an average price of $12.38 times 60 shares and clip currently has a dividend if we can find it here of 37 0.3% something about there so when we take this we're going to go 0.37 Three. And this is going to give us so the 750 American dollars we invested today is going to bring us about 275 American dollars for the year, dividing by 12. That is a monthly income boost of $23. And the reason being is because I had all these dividends, as I mentioned in the video the other day, where I needed to reinvest. And the total equated dividends, if you guys watched my previous video, it was about $750. So that's exactly how much I invested into Clip. This was dividends from the past four months, buying me more shares of a great dividend paying stock, which it's performed great for me. And so that's why I say, but super excited to now be owning over 200 shares. We're pushing 211 shares, which is going to be paying us every single month. And the goal with this portfolio is really to just continue to invest within Clip and then within other high paying dividend stocks just so that we could boost our monthly income but what i do want to show you here is clips performance over the past year because if we do look at clip and kweb over the past year looking at clip you see a downward trend and for the max history it's trended from about 25 dollars at inception all the way down to 12 really 12.35 which is half of its inception value and you think how could a stock that has trended down you know, 50% actually produce a positive return. Well, it's due to the fact that Clip has paid some pretty high dividends. And going back all the way since inception here, you could see that they are actually averaging about an 11% return since that time period. We're looking at about a year and a half, which isn't amazing when you look at like, you know, the overall market. But considering we're now in a down period for Clip and for KWeb, the underlying stock, if KWeb is able to appreciate even back to 30 $32 at its six month high, or potentially what it was a couple of years ago, up to about 40, 50, or even $80, $90 at the high, you're going to see some insane returns in clip. And that's why I continue to hold. I continue to collect a bunch of dividends and I'm satisfied holding it. And just to kind of knock on, we talked a little bit about the underlying holdings, which are Tencent, Alibaba. These are big Chinese internet companies that are most likely going to still be around for time and time again. The Chinese internet sector 
houses about over a billion people. You see one 0.09 billion people in 2023 and it's continuing to growing it's only tapped into 77 percent of the total china population so there's still room for growth within the, within the sector and currently i did watch and kind of I'll, what i'll do is i'll sum up this talk about basically what crane shares mentioned in terms of chinese growth but chinese stocks are at a five month low which presents a good buying opportunity for both clip and kweb which is the underlying stock but the five month low this is when i like to buy my stocks i like to buy them at lows because i feel like i'm getting the best dividend percent and the best value i want to have a little bit of appreciation in a stock which maybe doesn't appreciate too much it only really depreciates so i want to knock off a lot of that navarotion by buying at great prices and you can see here that although we're at twelve dollars and 35 cents when we go to clip my average price is about sixteen dollars and 75 cents still relatively high but through averaging down, you can get your average price down. And then when Clip slowly does recover, as KWeb recovers, you're going to get a better capital return. So overall, I bought because KWeb and the over overall Chinese sector has been hit pretty hard over the past couple months. A lot of their underlying holdings have been hit hard, but I do believe they're still very solid companies. And that's why I continue to invest in Clip. And just to kind of show now, we have... 211 shares of clip clip has become one of my main holdings roughly about three and a half thousand dollars in and then as well my other main holding in my other stock account is ymax which has over ten thousand dollars in usd at an average share price which we are very close to seventeen dollars and 83 cents is the average and the symbol price okay ymax symbol price uh the current share price is seventeen dollars and seventy seven seventeen dollars seventy eight cents something about there so very close to break even on that which is very exciting for the portfolio and then we also have clip which hopefully should make a little bit of a comeback here and produce us a better overall return so this was just to talk a little bit about what i bought 60 shares of clip at twelve dollars and thirty eight cents how it impacted my portfolio boosting my monthly income for about twenty three dollars up to two hundred and thirty dollars which will only help to increase my compounding this was just a little video just to show you exactly why i bought what is potentially at a, a decent price right now if you're looking for high dividends and i hope to bring you guys another video like this soon when i make my future buys so if you guys enjoyed this video up to 5423 subscribers stick around if you guys did enjoy and i hope to see you guys in the next video